Hey, there you are. Welcome to Huntington Beach Public Library's Toddler Story Time. My name is Miss Carrie, and I'm excited that you're here because we are going to read, write, sing, talk, and play. And I want to get started right now. Let me see your wiggle fingers. Now hide them. <laughs> bring them back. And hide them again. And bring them back. You're ready for open, shut them. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up. Your little mouth say, ah, but do not let them in, in, in. <laughs> Very nice singing, everyone. Now let's say hi to our shape family. Hi, shape family. Let's get our writing fingers out when we sing with our shape family so that we can follow along with their shapes. Here we go. I'm Mama Circle. I'm shaped like a pie. Can you get your writing finger out? And let's make a circle. We're going to start at the top and make one line. Go round and back, round and back. I'm Baby Triangle. Three sides have I. Ready? Down, over, and back. And down, over, and back, up. And I'm Papa Square. My sides are four. Down, over, up, and back. Down, over, up, and back. You're doing great. And I'm Brother Rectangle. I'm shaped like a door. Down, over, up, back. Down, over, up. Do you see the difference between the square and the rectangle? The rectangle is long, right? Good job and good writing. When we do our shapes, that's pre-reading. You're going to be able to spot those ABCs out there when it's time to start reading. So excited for that. Now, let's talk about what we're going to read and sing today. But we first... We need to make the shape family disappear because they're hiding the clues. Oh, are you ready? Did you bring magic to story time? I have a little bit of magic and I'd like to share it with you. Can you raise your hands above your head? And catch the magic here, Chuck. <laughs> Did you get it? It's so wiggly and tickly. Hold it by your belly. It likes to fly away. You have your magic, you need magic words. And the magic words are, one, two, peek a -boo. Got it? Now let's say that to the shape family. Ready? One, two, peek a -boo. Oh my goodness. Do you see what I see? Oh, I see a fuzzy white polar bear. And here are some polar bear friends right here. This one is mommy. And this one is Baby Polar Bear. We're going to read and sing all about polar bears today. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, you know what? Let's find out about Polar Bears. Polar Bears by Mark Newman. Polar Bears. Polar Bears are big. Polar Bears are tiny. Polar bears live in the Arctic. Polar bears are patient. Polar bears are hungry. Yes, and polar bears are tough and fast. The end. We have five little polar bears right up here on the board. Show me five. One, two, three, four, five. 
Five baby polar bears playing near the shore. One tumbled in and now there are four. Four baby polar bears swimming near the sea. One chased a seal and now there are three. Three baby polar bears, what shall we do? One went swimming and now there are two. Two baby polar bears playing in the sun. One took a nap and now there is one. One baby polar bear slipping on the ice slid right into mama bear. So soft and nice. Our next story is going to be A Polar Bear in the Snow by Matt Barnett and the art is by Sean Harris. A Polar Bear in the Snow by Mac Barnett, art by Sean Harris. A Polar Bear in the Snow. There is a polar bear in the snow. Still asleep, he lifts his nose to sniff the air. And he awakens. There is a polar bear in the snow. Where is he going? Is he going to visit the seals? No, he's not hungry. Is he going to hunker in a cave? No, his fur protects him from the storm. Is he going to meet a man? No. Oh. There's a polar bear in the snow. Where is he going? Oh. He is going to the sea. He wants to play. And when he is done playing, he climbs back onto the snow. Where will he go then? Who knows? The end. Big old polar bear, white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. I'm hungry, he said, making a wish. He stuck in his paw and he pulled out a fish. What color is it? It's red. Big old polar bear, white as the snow, sat on the ice in the cold water's flow. I'm hungry, he said, making a wish. He stuck in his paw and he pulled out a fish. What color? It's orange. Big old polar bear, white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. I'm hungry, he said, making a wish. He stuck in his paw and he pulled out a fish. What color? Yellow! Big old polar bear, white as snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. I'm hungry, he said, making a wish. He stuck in his paw and he pulled out a fish. What color? It's green. Big old polar bear, white as a snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. I'm hungry, he said, making a wish. He stuck in his paw and he pulled out a fish. What color? It's blue. Big old polar bear, white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. I'm hungry, he said, making a wish. And he stuck in his paw and he pulled out a fish. What color is it? It's purple. Mm -hmm. Yummy. This is another fun polar bear story to share. It's called No Place Like Home by Rona Joy. Gosh. No Place Like Home by Rana Joy Ghosh. No Place Like Home. George never smiled. 
he never spoke to anyone. In fact, George was quite the grump. George didn't even like ice cream. And he definitely did not like his house. It was much too small for him. The city was no place for a polar bear like George. He was crowded, and George didn't like crowds. All George wanted was to go back home, but he'd forgotten where home was. He knew the city didn't feel like home. Maybe the jungle was home. Um, but he didn't like sleeping in trees. George tried living on a mountain, but he didn't like heights. They scared him. Maybe the desert was home. No, the desert was too hot, and it made George thirsty. Hmm, what about the sea? Hmm, yeah, the sea was better. George liked being in the water, but sometimes the sea made him nervous. Hmm, the sea wasn't home. George rode sadly for days and days until he came to a strange white land. Oh! <gasps> George liked this place. It was cold and covered with ice as far as he could see. George wasn't grumpy anymore. After all his travels, he was sure of one thing. There is no place like home. The end. Thanks for joining me today for Toddler Storytime. It was so much fun reading, singing, and learning together. Let's sing our goodbye song. Show me your hands. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> tickle the stars and tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low and reach way up high. Cause story time is over, so wave goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.